Hey everyone, I'm coming on here to drop a word bomb for Wednesday and I call it Own It. And we're going to read Psalm 32 and just uh, talk for a few minutes. It says, Oh, what joy for those whose rebellion is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of sin, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, I was weak and miserable and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you, and I stopped trying to hide them. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly confess their rebellion to the Lord while there is time, that you may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with so songs of victory. You, you see, there's no victory without confession. And that's why I'm talking about own it for this word bomb. I, I, so if you've been watching our sermons um, um, at, the, on the, at the River Church page, um, you may have seen or heard, and people in church have heard, and other people I've come in contact with, uh, you notice I've been wearing a cast right here. And um, so on January 1st, a great way to start the, the new year, I, you know, it's been crazy. Our family had COVID and getting back into the swing of things has been, uh, has taken a, a fair amount of energy. And then also um, just a lot of cool things that the Lord is doing and just trying to process through it all, all the energy it takes. Uh, I just found myself depleted at times. And um, so January 1st, New Year's Day, we had um, garbages piling up and uh, recycling piling up and the dog circling and this cabinet that wouldn't close. And so, man, I like I said, I had just been, had just been taking a lot of energy. I'd, I'd been uh, just kind of frustrated. And I looked at everything and I just, just gun, and then just went whop and punched a cabinet in my house. The cabinet's okay, but I broke uh, the bone leading to my pinky. And uh, so it felt good at first. And then um, I'm like, oh man, why did I do that? And the enemy tries to get in and, and tries to tell me to hide it, to to make something up. Oh, I, you know, once I figured out I broke my hand, I, I went in to uh, get it checked out and everything. You know, the enemy wants to uh, get us to lie our flesh. We want to protect our image that we portray. And so I was tempted, man, just to hide it and to make stuff up and go along with life. And um, I really knew that it was not a good idea to do that. And so the next Sunday I got up and when people ask, I just told, you know, Sunday I got up and said, hey, listen, I'm not perfect. Here's what happened. And then when people ask, I say, here's what happened. And um, yeah, that wasn't one of my better days, but putting it out there in the light gave opportunity, number one, for me to just be honest and not and not hide my sin and have that cover me for the next however long as I tell people some lie or, or whatever, you know what I mean? And um, also it gave room for other people to go on the way out from church and other people I've talked to, people have, have shared, you know, Hey, you know, I've been there. I did this. One guy told me I punched a steering wheel and the, uh, the, the horn got stuck on. And so I'm riding around with my horns. Like I like, so when we are honest and we confess our sin to the Lord, um, and receive his forgiveness, it gives a chance for us. There's no victory without confession. And then it gives a chance for us to be a testimony to others because there's a lot of temptation to project an image in, especially uh, as Christians, uh, like we're supposed to be this certain way. And as a pastor, it's like all there can be pressure to present a certain image, but that's not biblical. Uh, that's not that's not what we read in the scriptures. Uh, there's there is power in vulnerability and there's victory in vulnerability. And so I just want to share that today for anyone who needs to hear. Own it. Uh, own your mistakes. Own your failures. And uh, like John Maxwell says, fail forward. Uh, let let your failures birth into victory and, and be honest about them and watch how God will bring healing and help you to take steps forward, whatever uh, whatever it might be in your life. So, Father, thank you for those who are who have taken in this 
uh, word bomb. And I pray that you'd help us to be able to be uh, transparent and uh, to uh, lay our lives before you in, in honesty. And Lord, if there are those who have never received you and the forgiveness that you bring uh, as we confess Jesus as our Lord, I pray that that um, so, if there's anyone listening, that they would put their trust in you, that they would confess their sin to you, that they'd recognize, God, that they that they, they don't always get it right, that they do sin against you. And I pray, Lord, wherever anyone who's listening to this may be, I pray that you'd move powerfully in their life and help us each to take another step forward uh, in this new year. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Have a good day.